breaking this morning. ABC News called one of Georgia's two Senate runoffs saying Democrat Raphael Warnock defeated incumbent Republican Kelly Leffler. He will become the first black senator in Georgia history. The victory puts the Senate majority within the Democratic Party's reach. That will depend on the second race between Republican David Perdue and Democrat John Ossoff, which is still too close to call. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze joins us live from Atlanta with more on these results. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, good morning, Matt. Well, that other race between John Ossoff and David Perdue, a razor thin margin there, and those votes are going to continue to be coming in this morning. But in the meantime, this is a major victory for Democrats here in Georgia. Reverend Raphael Warnock will be the first black senator in the state's history. This morning, Democrats one step closer to taking control of the U.S. Senate. ABC News now projects Democratic challenger Reverend Raphael Warnock will defeat Republican incumbent Senator Kelly Leffler in one of Georgia's runoff races. And every day I'm in the United States Senate, I will fight for you. Warnock is a prominent black preacher at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, a pulpit that once belonged to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In a victory speech, Warnock acknowledged his historic role as Georgia's first black elected senator. I come before you tonight as a man who knows that the improbable journey that led me to this place in this historic moment in America could only happen here. But his opponent, a staunch ally of President Trump, not giving in. We have a path to victory and we're staying on it. I, that's right. The other race between Democrat John Ossoff and Republican David Perdue remains too close to call, separated by just a couple thousand votes. Democrats need to win both seats to flip the Senate. This was a political earthquake in Georgia. It leaves Democrats with the very real possibility of taking control of the Senate for the first two years of Joe Biden's term, and it punctures the myth of infallibility, of unbeatability that President Trump has created inside the Republican Party. President Trump has been a constant presence in the election here, chastising the state's election officials and claiming without evidence the November votes were rigged. Some Republicans fear the president's claims may have suppressed GOP turnout. After the election for the president, it was just kind of like, wow, did our vote count? Now, election officials here in Georgia say the final results could come this afternoon, but they are also reminding us that, uh, that if the candidates, if they have a margin of 0.5% in the final results, they can request a recount. So we could have another recount on our hands here, and we could be continuing to wait for the results in that other very tight race. Reporting live in Atlanta, Elizabeth Schulze, Channel 6 Action News. Matt? See